guys, welcome to another video. Now, I want to start this video off by saying a little bit of a spiel because we're having our 2000 subscriber giveaway. Now, I just need to rattle this off whilst you can see my inspiration there for this particular layout. That was me just doing some doodling before I went to work one day and it gave me the inspiration to create this layout. Now, here's my little giveaway spiel. Um, to celebrate reaching 2,000 subscribers, I will be giving away two gift cards, both to the value of 50 Australian dollars um, each. So there's two, okay. <laughs> all T's and C's are listed below, and don't forget to collect all six code words, which will be posted on screen during each video, posted from the 8th of April, 2024 to the 19th of April 2024 to go uh, then go to the Facebook group which the it, all the links and everything's in the description below um, go to the Facebook group post all six code words by 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time by the 20th of the 4th and you'll be in the running for a $50 gift voucher now Giveaway closes at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on the 20th of the 4th, 2024, and winners will be notified by me directly. Good luck. Now, back to the video. Okay, so we are... I'm using a makeup... I use these for like little storage containers. It's, a, it's like a makeup lip gloss container. And that's what I'm using to create my circles. I'm using Distress Ink instead of Distress Oxide because I wanted it to have more of a translucent effect. So um, the Distress Oxides, for those that don't know, Distress Oxides are opaque because they have pigment ink in them. Whereas the Distress Inks are translucent they're, tra they're you can see through them they are not opaque you you kind of can build them up a little like I don't I think building up is a bit a bit of an overstretch you can't really build them up you can add layers to them and create more of a water um, watercolor effect which is really really cool but as you can see here you get a really nice watercolor effect with these inks and because they're in all the distress colors, it just makes coordinating everything easily. If you're using distress oxide sprays, distress inks, distress oxide inks, um, you know, the you might even be using the distress crayons or the distress watercolor pencils. It just makes it easier. That is why I've gone ahead and purchased all of the distress range, basically. That's where I like to focus my 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 money on so I can get everything that goes and coordinates easily and well. So it just takes a lot of the thinking out of it. Now I'm just going around these in a very loose manner with my black, my Posca paint pen. This is my 0.7 millimeter pen. Not everyone uses this one because it can be a little bit finicky. Sometimes it'll work really well and flow well. Once your, ink, once your paint gets down a little bit, it can be a little bit of a pain. I find the white one is a little bit more finicky than the black, but I love the opacity of using a Posca paint pen. Now, you can see I was just doodling. This is just a scrap piece of paper that you can see off to the right-hand side there. It's really cool. gives you a great effect. I love doing stuff like that, and it's really good for me personally to do things like that just to shut my brain down because as I've said a million times I have so many ideas and not enough hours in a day and it literally keeps me awake at night trying to figure out how to shut my brain down and I've worked out that if I do some things like that it actually works quite well for me. Now I switched out and pulled out my bullet point uh, my bullet tip pen and Posca paint pen just to do the border because I was feeling like something was missing but then once I put the border on there I realized no nah, that's I like that I really like that and I didn't use any special tools for this layout there was no 
you could literally do this with anything you've got in your cupboard so in your your stash your collection your it could be in your craft room it could be in your kitchen you could create a look like this now this title i did pull from the 49th of market 12 by 12 vintage artistry sunburn sunburst wrap rub ons that was a big mouthful wasn't it it's the first thing in the morning here guys trust me um so i thought that that title sort of went well and this is a photo of taylor and darren this is way back when i think we were still boyfriend and girlfriend at this point like it was this photo has been printed for a very very long time and I just because my printer is broken at the moment I am using photos that have been printed that I've been ignoring so um, and I always just go for the next the next lot of photos or print off whatever's on my my phone or you know that sort of thing so I am digging into these older photos and getting them scrapped because I printed them obviously because I like them or they held a memory for me um this is back when we only had taylor we didn't have angela we didn't have jen so you know it was it was feels like forever ago it feels like a lifetime ago do you ever do that do you ever sort of go that was like before life now like it just feels like that but anyway so the pens that i'm using here these are the montmartre uh glitter pens they're gl or glitter, glitter markers they're called and they leave the most beautiful glitter behind and it I won't say it doesn't rub off 99% of it stays on your paper only if you get in there and give it a really good rough up does it come off so for me that that's acceptable for me you know I mean sometimes you sort of go oh it's a bit much but I love it. I love these. I, and I, you guys know, I love me some shimmer and shine and sparkle. It, it just, yeah, I love it. So I'm just doing tone on tone where I can. I didn't, you may notice in my little rainbow that I've got going on with my circles. So it's not so obvious. There's no purple. There's no violet. Because these are the pens, if you've watched any of my previous videos, these are the pens that I bought. And there's five in the set and there's no purple and to me that's not a full rainbow and it does my head in a little bit but that's okay it's all right it's okay we worked around it and I think it looks just just fine the way it is it's okay now this particular layout came this was actually a request from a um from a subscriber her name's Anna and she asked me if I could create a layout without using all the scrapbook stuff because she's new to scrapbooking and she wants to do it but she's not sure if she can create layouts similar to what I make without all you know the the electronic cricket you know the the cricket and all the pizzazz and all the you know the die cutting machine and tools and you know all that sort of stuff so Oh, by the way, Jen bought me some biscuits. That's what's up in the top corner there. She made me a coffee and she made me some biscuits. And I was very grateful for it. But these biscuits were super hard. But anyway, um, these are the ones that I usually use just for my cheesecake bases. But that's okay. We won't say anything. She was being helpful. It was great. So that's why, that's where this layout came from. It came from a place where I think with just a couple of pens, it doesn't have to be the glitter pens. It could be just normal felt pens. It could be um, Posca paint pens. You could buy the Montmartre paint pens. They work just as well. You could use any kind of felt, felt tip pen. You might have Sharpies in your collection. You might have, and it doesn't have to be a full rainbow, like I said on here. It's not a full rainbow. There's no purple on there. But you can create your own patterned paper just by buying a 12 by 12 pack of white. And you can build it up from there. And that's what this layout's about. It's not about all the bits and pieces. Because we know that I love to do that. I, I do love all the tears and frizz that I can put on a page. 
sorry, I got distracted for a second. Don't mind me. Um, when things get shoved in front of me, I have to quickly read them. <laughs> oh, you know, hashtag mum life. Anyway, so I am just going around, just creating a little bit of extra movement and the illusion that these circles may be three-dimensional and a good way of doing that is just with a little bit of line work. Best place to find line work if you um if you're stuck or you're just getting started, jump onto Pinterest and have a look at some different line work. So maybe Google Zentangles. This is not Zentangles, but if you look at that, you can see certain ones, certain ways that lines are drawn with Zentangles gives you the illusion of a 3D effect. So if you're someone that likes, you might like your scrapbook layouts with no dimension on them, but you like the look of dimension. Well, this is a really easy way of creating that look without the foam tape, without building your page right up. Because I know when you're starting out, you want to spend your money on supplies rather than albums and you know it takes a long time to build up the amount of supplies like that I have in my I have an entire room that is full of craft supplies and albums and layouts and all the things so basically you know these I love these things these things are so cool these are like sequins. I got these from AliExpress. No, correction, it wasn't AliExpress. Was it? Let me think. Alina Crafts. Yeah, Alina Crafts is on AliExpress. Got myself confused then. Um, so these are sequins, but they don't have a hole in the center and they're flat. They are so, so pretty and they're so shimmery. Look, I've only got them in these colors that you can see in front of you. So I had to kind of make it work for me on this particular layout because I do have blue, yellow and pink on here. There's no orange and there's no green, but it kind of reflects where the gold is. It reflects the colors quite nicely. So I wanted to add some shimmer to the page. Again, there's still no dimension. All I'm really using is this packet of sequins cost me like $4. That was it. And there's a lot in here. Believe me, this, this particular packet of sequins will keep me going for a very, very long time. So um, it, it's not expensive. I realize that you obviously pay for postage and all that sort of thing if you're ordering from overseas. Excuse me, I just yawned. It is Monday morning. It's Easter Monday and... I tried to sleep in, but I went to Bribie yesterday and um, Bribie Island, if you're not familiar with my area, and the sand flies have attacked me. And I swell up when I get bitten by a sand fly and I get highly irritated by them. And I have been awake since three o'clock this morning trying not to scratch them. So, oh. Anyway, I'm adding some dimension, uh, what's this one, dilution stickles, and just to add a bit more shimmer. So don't forget, guys, check out the, um, don't forget to write down your code word, and I will be back with another layout for you, uh, ASAP. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching, and Anna, I hope this helps you out, and it's just another way for you to get some shimmer and shine and all that good stuff don't forget to like subscribe blah 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 and if you'd like to support the channel there's a buy me a coffee link there as well if you'd like to have a look at that but don't forget to give a thumbs up leave me a comment all that sort of stuff and i will be back real soon with another video bye for now guys